This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. Well, I have sad news that may come as a shock to many of us in the aerospace and defense electronics industry. Embedded systems, it seems, are going away. Yes, you heard me right. Embedded systems, you know, those computers that control functions inside of larger systems, are on their way out. Okay. I'll wait a second for you folks at Vita, and PicMig, and other embedded computing organizations to wipe the spewed coffee off your computer monitors. Okay, now that you're cleaned up, I can assure you that it's not as bad as it sounds. Embedded systems themselves aren't going away. This is still a vibrant industry with high demand and vigorous innovation in technologies like single board computers, mezzanine cards, microprocessors, FPGAs, and the like. Still, it seems that the name embedded systems may be headed for the endangered species list. Whatever for, you might be asking. Well, the name embedded systems just doesn't seem to have the cachet it used to have. It just isn't cool, hip, trendy, or cutting edge enough anymore, which has the industry adherence to what we used to call embedded systems, looking for a more contemporary name, which promises the prestige that embedded systems used to have. And I think they found it. Here it is, intelligent systems. Pretty nice, huh? I know I like it, and a growing number of influential companies do too. Intel, for example, within the past year has abandoned references to its former embedded systems group and now refers to it as the intelligent systems group. Now, five years ago, I didn't realize it that General Electric was on the cutting edge of this trend when the company rebranded its old GE FANUC Automation Embedded Systems Group to GE Intelligent Platforms. I should have known it then, on hindsight, but this is why I cover the embedded systems industry, sorry, intelligent systems industry, rather than the entertainment business. I always was slow to catch on to big trends. That's a big reason that years ago I was basically asked to leave my native California, but that's a story for another time. Now perhaps I really shouldn't be poking fun at intelligent systems because there's plenty of reason for the new term. Embedded systems, people tell me, simply do as they're told with little regard for the result. Garbage in, garbage out, as they say. But intelligent systems, these pay attention to what's going on and make some judgments about how best to proceed. Now, take an example of a sensor and signal processing system on an unmanned aircraft. Now, an embedded system would just look where it's told to look. But an intelligent system might, on its own, notice where most of the action is taking place and concentrate its sensors on that area. There are plenty of other examples of intelligent systems. Now, how about a digital thermostat in someone's home? Instead of making temperature changes based on predetermined times, an intelligent thermostat might notice how the resident uses energy and make adjustments based on peak usage rather than on the time. Well, you get the idea. So look for other companies to make the jump from embedded systems to intelligent systems in their marketing and branding with Intel and GE on board, we're bound to see others follow suit. It might be easier to do, though, in the commercial marketplace. Our business, you know, it might be somewhat harder. Now think about it. Military intelligent systems. The jokes about oxymorons would be just too easy. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm John Keller.